For the 100 gallon coral reef tank, we've decided to use a combination of power compact retrofit type lighting along with a retrofit metal halide lighting system. The metal halides will consist of two 250 watt bulbs. The power compacts will consist of two individual 196 watt 36 inch length the second 24 inch 65 watt power compacts and here's how we're going to install them we'll go ahead and remove the canopy from the top of the aquarium we'll flip it upside down on its back because we're going to install the lighting ourselves into the canopy it'll basically be the guts of a lighting system that we will install into the canopy itself hence retrofit and just for reference sake the alternative style would be lighting systems within the enclosures or their own enclosures we would place those enclosures on top of the aquarium in this case we can take the guts the retrofit and attach it to the underside of the canopy so that when the lid is lifted up the lighting system lifts up with it as well this will allow us a greater access into the tank we're going to install two different types of lighting power compact fluorescent lamps here on the back side and metal halide bulbs which are an incandescent bulb on the front side those power compacts are a fluorescent bulb. We're going to affix the reflectors uh, that uh, the lighting system attaches to, and the reflectors will help redirect that light back into the tank. The aluminum reflector uses a combination of a C-clip and a screw to attach or affix itself into place. The C-clip is what the lights slip into or snap into, and of course the screw is what tightens into the wooden canopy. And these lamps snap into these little C clips in here. These are the power compact bulbs, those long U shaped fluorescent lamps, similar to what you'll see at a hardware store, but these are made specific for an aquarium. That's the connector at the end, they call it a square pin connector. And these lamps. And they have a little socket arrangement that uh, snaps over the ends of the lamp, giving it a uh, waterproof, watertight connection. And then this is an extra safety feature. Passes through and snaps right back up here to make sure that the lamp stays inside the holder and here you can see the power compact bulb with its connector at the end and how it easily and neatly snaps into those c-clips on the aluminum reflector these bulbs come in a variety of colors as well as wattage depending upon their length this is a 36 inch bulb which is 96 watts the previous one was 24 inches and was 65 watts. They not only produce a particular spectrum or color that enhances the colors of fishes or benefits the zooxanthellae with inside the corals, they neatly snap into the aluminum reflector and the ballasts themselves t neatly tuck in behind the cabinet on the floor. As I hinted previously, this hobbyist is real big on the computer controlled system. So we've allowed for a very large power strip on the back that'll contain all of those X10 power modules. But more on that in another episode. So this being the metal halide reflector, again the reflector is to re-aim the light back into the tank. It's these mogul sockets here that will screw in the metal halide bulbs. Now the homeowner is going to wire these himself and here's the two power cords and he will wire those up into his own ballast. In the meantime I'm going to get this attached to the underside of the canopy. This aquarium canopy is what's called a half lid. The lid on top of the canopy flips back up on top of itself. So we've had the aluminum reflector made specially dimension-wise 
to fit that lid. So as we open up the lid, once the canopy's on top of the tank, the lighting, metal halide, lifts up and out of the way, allowing us reach or access into the top of the tank. So I need to mark where the holes, screw holes need to go so that I can attach this to the underside of the canopy lid. How anal the customer is. <laughs> <laughs> or how anal I want to be or uh, how we're feeling that day or... <laughs> Because the metal halides generate a tremendous amount of heat, we've decided to elevate the aluminum reflector off the canopy lid itself approximately one inch. So in addition to the screws that attach the canopy, we've added a spacer or a shim between the canopy and the reflector itself. While the fluorescent power compacts had a specialized connection at the end of the bulb, the metal halides, which are an incandescent bulb, have a standard screw-in type socket, in this case referred to as a mogul socket. As with any electrical device, you want to make sure it's wired properly, which includes an appropriate ground. Here, we're soldering the connections together so that we've got a secure connection. Because in a saltwater environment, it can be a little bit on the corrosive side, and we don't want to have a bad lighting connection. So with the electrical connection secure and the cables neatly tucked away, we'll lift the canopy up on top of the tank. You can see here how the canopy lid lifts up and the metal halides lift up and out of the way and the power compacts are attached on the underside of the remaining half of the canopy. For testing purposes, we'll go ahead and temporarily hook up the ballast. Both the metal halide and the power compact lights both require ballast. The ballast for the fluorescent charges up to ignite the gas within the bulb. The ballast for the metal halide slowly drives the filament end of the bulb to the point where its ignition or illumination provides a particular spectrum of light. In the case of the metal halide, it'll take a little bit of time to slowly warm up. You can see here from the back side of the tank what the metal halides look like as they're beginning to charge up. Metal halides are an incandescent style bulb. They have a filament that glows at a certain degree or color temperature. This is referred to as Kelvin. The appeal of metal halide is that it's a focused light beam, meaning the light source radiates from one point. And what it provides aquarium hobbyists is with what's called glitter line. Notice the flicker of light in the water, similar to what you would see in a pool on a sunny day. The power compact style lights are a gas that ignites within the bulb. The entire bulb glows, so you have a more diffused style lighting. You don't have as focused a light beam as you would get from the metal halide. Aside from the mechanical means of how they produce the light, the lighting essentially can be broke down into two aspects, color and intensity. Intensity obviously is driven by the strength or wattage of the ballast that's forcing the bulb to glow. Color can be broke down into what's referred to as Kelvin or color temperature. Lower colors are usually a yellow to a white in color. Higher or hotter temperatures are usually more to the blue side. What's the best style of lighting for you? Good question. Come on back for future episodes of LA Fish Guys and we'll see if we can come up with an answer for you. Wow.